What is going on everybody? I am back today to talk about a new short film that was released very recently and I saw the trailer for this a couple of times and I was really excited to check it out for one particular reason. I am a huge fan of Charles Schultz Peanuts. I have been since I was a very little kid. I read the Peanuts comic strips like as soon as I was able to read. It was one of my favorite things. I watched the Charlie Brown animated specials my entire life. They've always been a really important part of my life. And one of the things I love so much about Peanuts is I feel like Charles Schultz was way ahead of his time in the way that he talked about mental health issues and anxiety and depression and loneliness through Charlie Brown's character. And through the examination of all different characters, he was able to explore these ideas in a way that resonates with adults and children alike. It's it's perfect because there's humor in it for kids, but there's also a lot of adult humor layered into Peanuts comics. And I've been following it my entire life. I even liked the Peanuts movie that came out a few years ago. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. It was animated a bit differently, but I really liked it and enjoyed myself at the theater. And since then, there's been this series going on for the past couple of years on Apple TV called Snoopy Presents, and it's all these little stories about the Peanuts character. And there's been several that have been made, but the one that was released this month was all about Franklin, and they released it during Black History Month, and I was really excited to watch it after seeing the trailer. And the short film I'm gonna be talking about with you today is Snoopy Presents Welcome Home Franklin. Snoopy Presents Welcome Home Franklin is directed by Raymond S. Percy. Franklin is new to town and hoping to make friends, but his usual tactics don't work on the Peanuts gang. When the Soapbox Derby arrives, he's sure it's a chance to impress new pals and teams up with the only other unpartnered kid, Charlie Brown. So I was really looking forward to watching Watching this, as I said, I'm a huge fan of Peanuts and the Peanuts comic strip, and I thought this was wonderful. I absolutely loved it. I think for a 39, 40 minute short film, it accomplishes a lot and it has a really powerful message that's very simple, but it's easy for kids to understand, and I think adults can take a lot away from it as well. If you're unfamiliar with Peanuts comics, Franklin was the first black character in Peanuts comic strip, and Charles Schultz actually had to fight to keep Franklin in the comic strips. There was so much pushback about the Peanuts comics having a black character, and if you're familiar and you've seen images or you've watched it, uh, when ABC or whatever the production company was that was putting out uh, Peanuts comics put out the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving animated special, they animated it to where Franklin was on the other side of the table of the other Peanuts characters. And as much as Charles Schultz fought for equality for the characters and wanted to have a character that he could tell stories about black lives through, Franklin's character hasn't been perfectly utilized over the years. And so it was really cool to see them use Franklin's character in this story where he is the forefront. And at the beginning of the short, we find out that Franklin's father is in the military and he moves around a lot and he has a really hard time making friends and staying close to people because he has to jump place to place to place. Well, his dad finally moves into the community where the Peanuts characters live. He has this notebook that his grandfather wrote to him all about how to make friends and how to keep friendships. And he's looking in the book and he's trying his best to make friends. He first stumbles upon Lucy and it doesn't go very well. He talks to Linus and it doesn't go very well. And he just feels completely hopeless until he stumbles on Charlie Brown and the two of them start to talk and have conversations and shortly after Franklin is told about soapbox derby that is happening in the town and he's looking for a partner and everyone's partnered up until he gets partnered up with Charlie Brown and the two of them start spending time together and talking together and Franklin starts to teach Charlie Brown about his life and about elements of black culture and things that are important to him and how his grandfather played in a black only baseball league and talks about uh, black black musicians who inspire him, and it's about this budding relationship between these two friends. So as I said, I really loved this a lot. For starters, I really loved the animation. It's it's holding true to what makes Peanuts so special, but it's also doing something different. I really like the way that this, the environment is animated. It's different than the characters, and it has a really interesting depth. Looking at it, it, it was just really unique, and I liked it a lot. I feel like you don't see a lot of big budget 
animated movies that look like this and so to have a short film about peanuts look this way i really liked it a lot i think the voice cast all did a really nice job embodying what makes these characters so special obviously this has been going on for a very long time now so voice actors have changed again and again for who voices these characters and i think all of the people who voice the characters do a really phenomenal job but my favorite part about this was this was the people who own the rights to peanuts who who uh, are releasing things about the peanuts making amends for mistakes that are made in the past and i think the most important thing people can do in our culture now especially when it comes to representation of people of color or marginalized groups of people is if you've made a mistake in the past make up for it and uh there's a scene in this where they're all sitting at this table and franklin's on the side of the table by himself and they invite him to sit on their side of the table making up for that thanksgiving special and i thought it was a really beautiful way to kind of you know say hey this was in the past and we're moving forward and we're doing something different and obviously attached to that are all the conversations that franklin and charlie brown have about his interest he talks about john coltrane and how much he loves jazz music and how people misunderstand jazz goes really in depth about these things in a very short period of time but what i like is as on the nose as it might feel to some adults kids are going to watch this and pull something away from it they're going to see it and they're going to understand that even though franklin might not look like you if you're a white person or a person of a different background because of his culture and because of the way he's raised he has all these interesting attributes about himself as a person and kids can learn that there's beauty in our differences that people from different backgrounds and different cultures bring so many interesting things to the table that aren't necessarily taught to someone who like myself is white when we're growing up and I love that so much about this I think the promotion of equality and the importance of sharing and friendship and in moments with people who might be different than you is just amazing and as per peanuts usual there's a lot of cute funny moments especially with Snoopy in this one when the soapbox race actually happens I thought that they did a really great job animating it it was suspenseful it was fun to watch it was really entertaining and engaging and honestly if there's anything I wanted from this more I wanted it to be a full-length feature film I just had so much fun with it i loved being back in the peanuts world and i'm looking forward to watching more of these shorts or i hope that the company decides to do another feature length peanuts movie because this was just a lot of fun so have you seen welcome home franklin did you love it did you hate it leave me a comment down below let me know what you thought i thought this was incredible i loved the animation i thought the story was really beautiful and powerful and i think anyone can take a lot away from it as always if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for i'm always Always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future and as always everyone thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day